get up there. Yeah, thanks, Rick. Well, good afternoon. Uh, we are all here today to express our support for uh, the good work done by the House of Representatives and to indicate that um, there isn't going to be a debt limit increase absent the president sitting down and negotiating spending reforms with Speaker McCarthy and his team. Uh, I pointed out uh, since this has all started that in seven of the last ten debt limit debates there have been policy, budgetary, spending reforms attached uh, to that debt limit increase. So this is not without precedent at all. And in fact, I didn't, may, perhaps Rick or John have already said this, but back in 2011, here's what then Vice President Biden had to say about lawmakers who didn't want to negotiate on a debt limit increase. He said, and I quote, how can you explain the fact that grown men and women are will, unwilling to budge up until now and still some of them are still unwilling to, to budge by taking an absolute position, my way or no way, that's not governing, that's no way to govern, you can't govern that way, end quote. That's from then Vice President Biden. Well, in 2017, Senator Schumer publicly stated that he was leveraging the debt limit for policy changes. Ladies and gentlemen, we have to do something about the debt. It is $31 trillion and counting. If you look at just the interest alone, in 2010, it was a little under $200 billion that we paid out in interest on the debt. In 2022, it was $475 billion. That's a 142% increase just to finance the debt that we have today. 65% of the American people, including 58% of Democrats, are saying that any increase in the debt limit ought to be accompanied by spending changes, spending reforms, and policies that would help drive down the debt. Uh, we are on the, the right side of this debate. The President of the United States, for 90 days now, has been missing in action. He has been AWOL. It's time for him to come back to the table and sit down and negotiate with House Republicans and come up with something that would spare America from dealing with the risk of default, but also do something that would address what is an unsustainable issue for this country, and that is a spiraling, out of control national debt. It's time to do it. The president needs to step up to the table and work with Republicans to get the job done.